Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I don't think much of an intro is needed here and it's not every day that you get to see actual footage of lightning striking a rocket, technically striking the launch pad of a rocket, but I've been meaning to talk about SpaceX's Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy and their recent launch on April 30th. But three days before they were getting her ready for launch, Cape Canaveral was experiencing some pretty crazy weather, including lightning and tornado warnings. And sure enough, that evening, this happened. However, NASA has been dealing with Florida's crazy weather for a while, and so protections had been put in place. This came in the form of a protection mast atop the fixed tower based at Launch Complex 39A. There are actually masts on each of the launch pad service structures, and it is designed to divert electrical charge away from the rocket on the launch pad and safely to the ground, which obviously will separate the crazy strength of a lightning bolt, which has on average a billion joules of energy, from vital launch hardware. However, SpaceX did perform additional checks over the next few days, including Falcon Heavy, its payloads, and ground support equipment and everything was deemed good. And so on April 30th, Falcon Heavy successfully launched. It took flight carrying three satellites on a Sunday at 8.26 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This was the sixth flight of a SpaceX Falcon Heavy rocket, which consists of three strapped together Falcon 9 rocket first stage units. But what exactly is the Falcon 9 rocket and how does it differ from the Falcon Heavy? Well, Falcon 9 is a partially reusable heavy lift launch vehicle that can carry cargo and crew into Earth's orbit. The rocket has two stages. The first, booster stage, carries the second stage and payload to a certain altitude, after which the second stage lifts the payload to its ultimate destination. Both stages are powered by nine SpaceX Merlin engines, which use cryogenic liquid oxygen and rocket-grade kerosene as propellants. But the very cool thing about the Falcon 9 is that the booster is capable of landing vertically in order to facilitate reuse. This feat was first achieved on Flight 20 in December of 2015. Since then, SpaceX has successfully landed boosters over 150 times, which obviously goes a long way towards proving its reusability. Falcon Heavy is also a partially reusable designed and tested heavy lift launch vehicle. Its first successful flight happened on February 6, 2018. Now, you all may remember this because this was the launch that carried a Tesla Roadster, supposedly owned by Elon Musk, and an astronaut dummy known as Starman as its dummy payload, which they just let out into space. Starman in the driver's seat in the Roadster. And it gave us some crazy images like this. Also, if you're a Douglas Adams fan, see if you can spot the joke. And Starman and the Roadster are still out there. I mean, you can't say Elon doesn't know how to throw a party. The Falcon Heavy slung them into an elliptical solar orbit that will take the duo all the way out past Mars at their most distant point. The car and driver will make repeated passes near Earth, but the next relatively close one won't come until 2091. There is also a website that is tracking where the Roadster and Starman are right now, because of course there is. Um, I think they're in the constellation of Aquarius, but I will put a link in the description below. But going back to Falcon Heavy, the design is basically just an extension of Falcon 9. A strengthened Falcon 9 rocket acts as the core, with two additional Falcon 9 first stages acting as boosters. The two side boosters and the first stage of the center core are reusable, with the second stage being expendable, hence the term partially reusable. Immediately after liftoff, the center core booster throttles down and waits for the side boosters to get separated before resuming full thrust. 
So basically everything the Falcon 9 can do, the Falcon Heavy does better and with more power, including sticking that landing. Starbooster's landing legs have deployed. So SpaceX launched its powerful Falcon Heavy rocket for the sixth time ever on April 30th, sending three satellites to distant geostationary orbit. The mission was a long but successful one. The three satellites were deployed as planned over a 13 minute stretch, beginning about four and a half hours after liftoff, according to SpaceX. So basically for more than five years, Falcon Heavy was SpaceX's most powerful rocket. It was the biggest kid in the schoolyard until Starship came along and took that title with its debut liftoff on April 20th. Starship's 33 first stage Raptor engines produce 16.7 million pounds of thrust at liftoff, which is more than three times what Falcon Heavy produces. But obviously Falcon Heavy has a track record that Starship doesn't, so Falcon Heavy will very much still be in play for SpaceX, as long as Zeus and his lightning bolts can chill out a little bit. But as much as I love the footage, I am very glad they have those protection masks. I will actually be including some photos of other lightning strikes on other launch pads in the outro if you guys want to stick around to see those. Okay, that's it for now, guys. What do you think about Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy? Is Starship stealing all their thunder? <laughs> I don't really think so. But people are very, very excited about Starship. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Mm -hmm.